Xtool have just announced the Xtool F2 Ultra and it is a serious step up. I'm going to tell you why in this video. I've got the F1 and the F1 Ultra. I use them every single day. I know them inside out. So I can tell you the differences. If you're interested in buying an Xtool machine but you're not sure if you should go for the F1 Ultra or the F2 Ultra, stick around. I'll go through the stats. I'll tell you exactly what the differences are and I will help you make your mind up. Let's go through it. So let's start with the F1 Ultra. As you probably know by now, it's got a 20 watt fiber laser and a 20 watt diode, which is really good. These things are amazing. For a long time, this is the top dog. This is the best machine out there if you want a two in one laser, a Galvo laser. So this is a Galvo laser. It means it uses mirrors to, to direct the actual light beam down and it can move really fast because of that. So this one is fast. The new Xtool F2 Ultra is faster. I believe it's 30 or 40% faster. I think it's 15,000 millimeters a second. It's also 60 watts of MOPA. Now, let me tell you what the difference is between MOPA, which the F2 Ultra is, and Fiverr, which this one is. First of all, they both have the same wavelength. That means the actual light is the same thickness. However, let me tell you exactly how they work. A fiber, imagine a, a, a flashlight. A fiber laser is like a flashlight, just a basic flashlight where you've got it on full power. You get one beam coming out as strong, it's raw, it's powerful. You know what you're getting. You're getting consistent, strong, powerful. Well, look at a MOPA like a bit of a smart torch. It can do that same power, but at the same time, it can flash on and off. It can dictate how fast it flashes on and off. It can change the power up and down. It can change the type it is. And because of that, it's got a lot more versatility. So what does that mean? That means with a MOPA laser, you can achieve different colors. You can get a finer engraving. You can really mark metals really clearly. You get a crystal clear engraving. You get a great engraving on the F1 Ultra but you'll get a much better one on the F2 Ultra. Also 60 watts, it's three times as powerful as this. This is powerful. But let's talk of embossing coins. If you were to emboss a coin on this, I think using the Xtool settings, you're talking three to five hours. I've seen someone today who's got the machine, they've done a coin in one and a half hours. That is absolutely insane. It's also got a 40 watt diode laser, the F-Tool Ultra. That means it can cut wood up to 23 millimeters thick. So if you want to cut wood, you are in the right place. What I will say is with a Galvo laser, remember that the beam is coming down like this, it's moving at angles. You're never going to get a straight cut all the way down with that. You want a gantry laser if that's the kind of thing. However, it will be absolutely perfect for that. It's got two cameras built into one now. So one complaint a lot of people have got with the F1 Ultra, it's got a camera built into it, which is really good, but it's more of a guideline when you're placing items. You'll use it on the actual Xtool Creative Space software, you'll position your items, but then you still need to manually frame the item by using the framing box. Apparently, according to the F2 Ultra, it is, I think it was 70 or 60% more accurate. It's accurate to within 0.02 millimeters. That means potentially you can solely rely on the camera to place your items in the software and then engrave straight on without manual framing. I can't wait to see that because I'm really curious how it will work. The next thing it can do is it's got AI interoperability. So it's got two cameras and they integrate with AI, one for auto material uh, recognition. Also, it helps it with so many other things. It's gonna help you decide what the settings you're gonna use. It's also gonna help determine colors. So if you wanna achieve different colors on metals, it can automatically pick up and help with that. So what I've read, because it's really exciting stuff. I can't wait to see it myself. The question is, is it worth the upgrade? So this, as it stands, is about 3,500 pounds. If I had to guess that in dollars, I would say $4,500 maybe, either way. The new F2 Ultra is 6,000 plus dollars for the two in one. That's for the 40 watt MOPA laser and the 40 watt diode. I believe you can buy the MOPA on its own for 5,000 something. Either way, it's nearly twice the price of the F1 Ultra. Is it twice the laser? Well, in terms of numbers, yes it is. In terms of what you can do with it, 
I guess you can do the same with both. The materials aren't going to change. Both lasers can do mostly the same materials. The MOPA might give you more flexibility with transparent materials like glasses, and it might be a bit better for that. But in general, the materials are the same. The footprint's the same. However, one thing about the F2 Ultra, it's got a completely different lid. The lid on the F1 Ultra, it gets a little bit of slack because as you can see, there's a bit of wobble on it. It hasn't ever caused me issues, but some people don't like that. Some people say for a premium price, it should be a bit more rugged and a bit more robust. Well, it looks like the F3 Ultra has got a really sturdy design, different color as well, it's dark, and it's got corner panels and then windows on the front and side. That tells me it's gonna be robust and sturdy, which is great. It's got a new built-in fan. The fan is gonna be really efficient. It draws it in like a channel and channels it in, which is really good. This fan on this is great, but I can imagine it's gonna be really efficient. So the work area, it's got the same size work area. If I move this stuff out the way right here, this work area is gonna be the same and it doesn't have a removable plate. The F1 Ultra doesn't either, but a lot of people hope they would put a removable plate in any future lasers, they haven't done that. I'm a mechanical design engineer. I believe that is for structural reasons. At the end of the day, you've got some exp expensive stuff in the head here. You want it to be strong enough. And if you start putting the holes in the base, you're adding weak points in there. So I understand why they haven't done that. So I wanna know guys, are you thinking of getting the new F2 Ultra? And if you are, what do you think? Do you think it's a fair price? Have you just bought the F1 Ultra? Because I know a lot of people have. I've seen people in the Facebook group who are a bit annoyed because they've just spent three and a half thousand pounds on the F2, F1 Ultra. They might not have spent that. They might have spent more if they knew it was coming. So there's a couple of people out there that won't be too happy. I'm really excited because anytime you get new technology, it is game changing stuff. It adds a whole new flexibility to the market and it forces other laser companies to really start to advance as well. We all win ultimately. You know what it's like, when the tide rises, all ships rise together. This is the tide rising and raising the level and it's always a good thing. So guys, if you wanna follow me along for the journey, I can't wait. I hope to get my hands on it in the future to review it, but I'm gonna be following it closely. I'm also gonna be doing lots of XTOL F1 and F1 Ultra tutorials, tips, ideas. Follow the channel, subscribe for the channel for all that kind of fun stuff. And as you can see, I'm so passionate about this stuff. So if you are as well, stick with me because we'll have some fun together. So thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Hopefully we'll get our hands on it very soon.